Welcome to another Wii game review. Today I'm reviewing Suda51's masterpiece, No More Heroes. Presentation. The presentation of the game is a cell shaded uh, world that is seen unlike in any other game. It's very stylized. Uh, there's a lot of 8-bit uh, graphics that help it with this world that Suda51 um, is expressing to you. And it works perfectly. I mean, like everything from the over the top action, over the top blood spilling, everything in the game is very different. You have not seen a game like this before. Very stylized to a point where it's just cool to look at. Story You play Travis Touchdown, uh, a character that is like most people who play video games. I mean, uh, he likes. He collects cards, he collects like action figures, you know, and he, Travis Touchdown's a very relatable character even though he's way over the top, he's, you know, very crazy, and he has a lightsaber, which, you know, if you're, who isn't a Star Wars fan these days, you know, I mean, even if you're not a Star Wars fan, you have to admit that a lightsaber is pretty cool. And you are an assassin and you're trying to take down the top 10 assassins and it, it's it's a it's kind of like kill bill you know just the cool thing about it is it never, you never know where the story's going so that's the cool thing about the game like it could go completely in another direction and it's very stylized to a point where you don't know if some number 10 is going to come after you you know like it's that cool of a story it's kind of like if uh, warriors met uh, kill bill and was playing Grand Theft Auto, and you throw that in a blender, mix it all up, and then you shoot a 51 drink, and then he threw up this game. That's why this game's cool. Gameplay. The gameplay is pretty fun. I mean, it's it's repetitive, but the rep repetition never get boring. Um, basically, you attack with the A button, attack, attack, and then uh, it will bring down an arrow in which you have to swing, or if you do a grab, it, t it tells you how to do the grab with the nunchuck and the Wiimote. It never gets boring, and the only problem with the gameplay I ever had was that within the open world uh, sector of the game, there's nothing you really can do other than take odd jobs like, you know, coconut collecting, you know. And it's, you just going through it just to make enough money to get to the next mission, so. Bonus features. Um, there's no real bonus features other than like you could get new t-shirts for your character or you could uh, collect cards within the game. Um, you could go to the video store and rent videos so you could learn new wrestling moves. But other than that, it's uh, there's not really any bonus features to the game other than just play it through and then beat it. But one thing is, uh, here's a hint, if you beat the game Instead of just ending the game, return back to Santa Destroy and buy every single lightsaber. And if you get the lightsabers or beam katanas, uh, you get an actual ending, or an actual real ending. So there you go. My recommendation for this game is a definite buy. It's so different from any game that you've actually played before. It's, it's just like, it's a smorgasbord of action and... It's just a really cool game. Like it's it's a totally different game that you played. I mean, it, it's just a cool game. So that's my review. See you later. Life is more important than some job.